Zelina Vega, Zelina Vega, Zelina Vega. Dropped a hell of a promo on Instagram about two days ago. It was either yesterday or the day before. Just, just, bam, massive freaking promo. I love the passion in it. I love the desire. I love the look in her eye. It was very convincing. She talked about, and I'm just going to run down the bullet points here. Shutting up the people who think she's too small to be a champion. This is going to be her year, 2023. It's all going to be Zelina Vega's. And, I mean, because uh, Russo, Vince Russo has been taking shots at Zelina Vega the entire year, if you guys don't know. She's too small. I don't think she's effective in the ring. I think she's a great manager and da-da-da-da-da. I don't see her being a main champion. I don't care for her wrestling style. He, he's been saying this shit all year. Now, I don't agree with Vince Russo on anything, pretty much. I think he's an idiot. But I love the fact that she responded to this and made a whole thing out of it. And you know what? I've been a Zelina Vega fan ever since she showed up. I've never been like, holy shit, you know? It's Zelina Vega or whatever, but I've always liked her. She's great on the mic. She's had great matches. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well, you know, she, she's been in, in a couple of botches and a couple of matches. But I'm like, if you go back and look, they're not entirely her fault. They're not. She is uh she's a hell of a she's a hell of an athlete, a hell of a character. She deserves to be WWE women's champion. That whether that be Raw or SmackDown, it don't matter. She is very talented, and I predict that this year is really gonna be her year. I'm very excited for Zelina Vega. I love Legal de Fantasma. They are fucking just off the charts. Honestly. If they built, if they're built up the right way, and if they're written the right way, and they create a storyline with the Usos, and then they beat the Usos, I'd be cool with that. I mean, this is like the first time where I'm actually invested in a team. I love their look, and they're Latin, so you know they're badasses. They're wearing suits. They're coming out with style, pizzazz, charisma. I mean, I'm rooting for these guys. Santos Escobar, I hope he becomes U.S. champ or Intercontinental champ very soon. Like, this is like a team that's actually interesting. I have not been invested in a team forever. Ever since, like, the Bloodline. I think uh, Imperium's pretty cool, but... I don't know. Ludwig, Ludwig Kaiser and the other guy, just... I don't I don't know. I don't buy it. I mean, Gunther just carries that, that thing. Here, Santos Escobar does his thing. Forgive me, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I can't remember the other two guys, but they do their damn thing in the ring. I love the way they work and their ability in the ring. I mean, they're just so smooth with their moves. I love the matches. Oh, by the way, I don't know why Hit Row is getting a chance before these guys. That, that, that really frustrated me. Hit Row, if you guys are looking for my opinion on that, Hit Row, I think, is just trash. Okay, B-Fab is annoying to me. Um, it's the same thing all over again. <laughs> this is like your biggest failed comeback ever. And it's clear who the leader was. And he's no longer with WWE or longer associated with this group. He's out there with Keith Lee enjoying the AEW life. And I gotta say, I'd never thought, I've never seen a group depend so much on one person. I mean, geez, Ashante the Adonis is just, he, again, he's annoying. Every time you'd say, it was short, you know, Adonisly, the detail is, I'm like, just shut up, please. And it's not to hate on these guys, but I just, I don't like them. I don't like them. They're not compelling. They are annoying on the mic. I mean, their song is kind of stupid. I mean, there's just, there's no way that I, these guys should be getting a chance before the Gala Fantasma. That's it, period. The Gala Fantasma has more ability in the ring. They have better moves, they're way more charismatic, and they actually get cheered. I mean, I see a lot of people in the comments though saying, you know, they, they want the legado um, chant because there's this part in the song that has like an orchestra and it goes dun, dun, dun. So they want to say legado. So it's like, I, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for that. I'm like, but I kind of like hearing that, that part of the, the, the song because I'm a sucker for uh, orchestra and opera and, and theme songs. It, I love that shit. So, 
Let me know what you guys think. Should Zelina Vega and La Gala Fantasma be pushed to the moon in 2023? Or you guys think, eh, we're it ain't really worth it. To me, they're the best. Okay, you want you want people always complaining, oh, they're not building tag teams and the US is all they got, and of course they're gonna hold the hell uh hold the championships for that long. There's nobody else, they doesn't know how to build new talent. This is it right here. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the future of the tag team division. My God, Fantasma. Period. Then you got the Judgment Day as well. I mean, there's so many good teams. The OC. So like, the Usos really need to start defending tires, uh, their tires against these three teams. I think those would make hella matches. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.